good day. This is the discussion for the lesson 4.3 Green's theorem. Let's proceed now to the exercises. We have here evaluate the line integral x minus y squared dx plus 2x dy, where c is the boundary of the region between the x axis and the graph of y is equal to sine x for x element of 0 to pi radius counterclockwise. So, what does that look like? So we have this x-axis, y-axis. To draw the graph of y is equal to sine x, kailangan natin mga pi over 2, pi, 2 pi over 2, negative pi over 2, negative 1 to 1. So at sine 0 and sine pi, those are 0. The rest. Ang kailangan lang natin ay from 0 to pi. So, between the x-axis and the y sign, y is equal to sine x between 0 to pi. So, this is our region. And yung path natin, so it is trace counterclockwise. So, ganito it will have. So, from here to here. This is our C. So, the given C, kung gagawin natin tong P, P, <laughs> ang x minus y squared, Px, y is equal to x minus y squared. So, this will be Pdx plus, gagawin naman natin tong Q, Q of x comma y. <laughs> this is equal to 2xy. Then ito ay magiging Q dy. By the Green's theorem, saan it equal? Not that we can apply Green's theorem here. Sa uh, path C na ito. So, using Green's theorem, this is equal to the double integral over R of ano yun, Q Qx minus py dA. So this is the derivative of Q with respect to x. What is the derivative of Q with respect to x? 2y. So let's write it here. Qx is equal to 2y. The derivative of p with respect to y is negative 2y. So minus negative 2y. Sorry, ang gulo. Hindi na ako natatanggalin ko niya. Ang Qx natin dito ay itong part na ito. Ito naman yung Py. Okay. What is 2y minus negative 2y? That is 4y. Uh, pili tayo dy dx or dx dy. Mas madali ata kung dy dx. Kasi this one. Yung sa may y is equal to sine x. Kaysa na mag x is equal to sine inverse y pa tayo. Let's stick to just sine x. So, piliin natin yung dy dx. So, the bonds for y is y is equal to 0 and y is equal to sine x. And the bonds for x is clearly 0 to pi. Now, integrate. Integrate for y with respect to y, we have 2y squared. Evaluate natin kay 0 to sine x. This is equal to 2 sine squared x dx from 0 to 5. Paano ulit tayo nag integrate ng sine squared x? Dun, 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 dun. Recall. Ano yung identity na ginagamit natin kay sine squared x? Ito ay 1 minus <laughs> cosine to x over 2. From mat 22. Yung first part ng mat 22. So, review na lang. Sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. So, palitan natin siya rito. May times 2 tayo rito, so mawawala yung over 2 rito. So, this is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x dx. Then, now integrate. 1 will be x. 
cosine 2x, ang integral niyan ay sine 2x over 2. Kasi so, may chain rule. Tapos, evaluate from 0 to 5. This is 0. Pag in-evaluate kay pi, x is equal to pi, so this is pi. Minus sine 2 pi. What is sine 2 pi? That's just 0. So, wala na yun. Evaluate natin kay 0. X will just be 0. Evaluate natin kay sine. Ay, ay, ab, uh, 0. So, this is sine 0. That sine 0 is also just 0. So, meron lang tayo dito. Pi. Then, that's it. Okay. Next question. Uh, evaluate this line integral tangent inverse x squared minus y squared dx plus 4xy plus change e to the y dy. On the positively oriented boundary, on the region enclosed, so let's draw this one. Siyempre yung pinakamadali muna, y is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2. What is, and uh, this line na lang muna, uh, y is equal to x minus 4. y is equal to x minus 4. When x is 4, y is 0. And when y is 2, para makonnect natin siya dito. When y is 2, x is equal to 6. So, this line. How about x is equal to 4 minus y squared? Uh, mm -hmm. When x is... When x is 4, y is, y is 0. Right? Kapag 4 ito, y is 0. Tapos, when x is 0 naman y squared is equal to 4. That is 2 and negative 2 cy. So, itong parabola na ito. Yan. So, ano yung region na ina-enclose nitong tatlo? So, ito, y is equal to 2. Ito, y is equal to 4 minus x. And this part of the parabola. Okay. Siya straight. Hindi yan straight, ha? Sa parang wala ito. Okay. Tapos, positively oriented. So, let's just draw arrows here. Uh, Counterclockwise. Okay. Now, to evaluate this one, gawin natin itong P. Ito naman yung Q. Para maging PDX siya. PDX plus QDY. Okay, so let's write here where p is x comma y is equal to this one. Tangent inverse x squared minus y squared. Tapos yung q naman natin ay ito. Kasi may dy. 4xy plus sinh of e to the y. By Green's theorem, again, pwede natin gamit si Green's theorem dito sa region na ito. This is equal to the double integral of the region R. What is R? So, hindi ako maglagay na label na. This is C. Tapos, R naman yung region. Mas maganda ko yung region natin ay horizontal strips na. Kasi kapag vertical strips, magkahati pa tayo ng region. So, horizontal na lang. Region R. Okay, this is equal to, para daw ulit to, Qx minus dy. Kunin nyo yung derivative ng Q with respect to y. Wala ka namang, no, 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 with respect to x. Wala naman tayong x dito. So, this is just a constant. Dito naman ang derivative natin with respect to x is 4y. Tata, mawawala lang yung sinh. Ganun din ata sa, y, sa p. 
Ikinoy okay, yung derivative with respect to y. Wala namang y dito sa tangent inverse. So, this is just a constant. Yay! Derivative is 0. And for this one, derivative with respect to y is negative 2y. Minus negative 2y. Ta. Simplify muna natin. This is 6y. Kapag horizontal lang strips, dy dx. No, it's dx dy. dx dy uh, the bounds for y is from 0 to 2 tapos ang bounds naman for x ito yung right bound natin this is yung line y is equal to x minus 4 pero naka x dapat so x is equal to y plus 4 right so sa taas tapos yung bounds naman for x sa left ay itong parabola na ito that is, x is equal to 4 minus y squared. So, ito na mismo. 4 minus y squared. Okay. Integrate with respect to x. This is 6yx. 4 minus y squared. y plus 4. dy, just copy muna. Okay. Then, evaluate at x. We have 6y I factor out ko na lang muna si 6y. Wala naman ito magagawa yung 6y dyan. Ito muna. y plus 4 minus, ito naman, 4, kapag may minus sign dito, magiging plus to, no? So, plus y squared. Mm, copy. dy, 0, 2. Magka-cancel yung 4 dito. Tapos, distribute. This will be 6y squared plus 6y cubed. Tama? Yes. Now, integrate. With respect to y, magiging y cube over 3. So, this will be 2. Ito naman, magiging y raised to 4 over 4. So, magiging plus 3 over 2. Evaluated at 0 to 2. Kapag kay 0, mawala lang ito eh. So, huwag na yun. Yung kay 2 na lang. So, 2 times 2 cube, that is 16. Plus 2 raised to 4, may makakancel ka isang 2 dito. So, 2 cube lang kailangan natin. 8 times 3, 24. Plus 16, 40. Yay. Okay? Alright, next exercise. 3. Find the work done. Oops, first work. Ang work in terms of line integral, yung kanina pa natin sinasagutan, yung PDX plus QDY. So, it's just that. It's the same thing. Katulad ng mga previous examples natin. So, find the work done by the force field F in moving a particle from the origin along the x-axis. Ah, na. Ano muna tayo? Drawing muna tayo. <laughs> moving a particle from the origin. So, start tayo sa origin along the x-axis. So, along this axis, x to 1, 0. To this point. So, yun muna una natin ginawa. From this point, punta tayo dito. Then, along the line segment 2, 0, 1. Okay. Yeah. And then, back to the origin along the y-axis. So, back here, sa origin along the y-axis. There you go. Ito yung ating, gawin natin tong C. Ang work natin, equal lang siya sa, well, it is equal to F times dr, which will eventually be equal to PDX plus QDY if we are going to let P to be equal to the first component sa force field x squared plus xy. Tapos yung q dy naman, yung q dito, let q of x comma y be equal to the second component, xy squared. Okay? But again, by Green's theorem, so it equal double integral over r, where r is the region enclosed by the path c. Ano ulit yung integral, uh, integrand natin? Qx minus p sub y. 
Kung ito yung q, what is the derivative with respect to x? y squared. Kung ito yung p, derivative with respect to y, x. y squared minus x. dA. Gusto ko ba ng vertical? Actually, kahit ano na. Pero kapag nag dy dx kasi dito tayo, may dy cube. Ayaw ko mag cube. <laughs> mag ano na lang tayo. Horizontal. So, dx dy tayo. y squared minus x dx dy The bounds for y is from 0 to 1. The bounds for x. So, yung left bound natin ay 0. x is equal to 0. Tapos, yung right bound natin is this line. But what is this line? This is the line y is equal to 1 minus x, right? Uh -huh. Pero naka-x tayo. So, x is equal to 1 minus y. Yan. Kaya gusto ko naka-dx muna. Para kapag nag-integrate tayo, so we have xy squared minus x squared over 2. Pag in-evaluate kay 1 minus y. Siya mahirap. Instead of 1 minus x cubed, kung nag-dy dx tayo. Uh -huh. Yan. Okay, so, may x to, no? So, evaluate. We have 1 minus y. y squared. Minus 1 minus y squared over 2. Evaluate natin yung 0. Magsi 0 lang siya. Huwag na natin ilagay yun. Simplify na lang muna natin to. We'll just distribute. y squared minus y cubed. Ito magiging 1 minus 2y plus y squared. Hindi ko pa uh, dinidistribute yung negative sign. Later on na lang. Is this right? This is right. I guess. <laughs> okay. Next, integrate with respect to y. Ito ay magiging y cube over 3 minus y raised to 4 over 4. Negative 1 half will be negative 1 half y. This is positive. Yung 2 over 2, magiging 1 lang yan. Tapos pag integrate si y, y squared over 2. Right? Next, negative. Y squared will be y cubed over 3 over 2. So, over 6. Evaluate, 0 to 1. Mm, madali lang to. Gawin nyo na lang 1 lahat. So, we have 1 third minus 1 fourth minus 1 half plus 1 half minus 1 over 6. Magka-cancel to. 1 half minus 1 half. Tapos, this is equal to this common multiple 12. 1 third is 4 over 12. 1 fourth is negative 3 over 12. Negative 1 over 6 is negative 2 over 12. 4 minus 3, 1 minus 2. Negative 1 over 12. And that's it. Okay, now you might wonder, bakit siya negative? Okay lang yan. May, meron tayo negative work. Kapag ang work mo ay negative, that just means that the tangent vectors nitong C are going against the field vectors. So, it's not something to be worried about kapag nag-negative yung work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. And I think this is the last one. Evaluate this line integral where C is the path given here. Okay, we're gonna do. As usual, let's make this our P. Let's make this our Q. Integral P dx plus Q dy. You need to know my letter. Let P equal to x y cube plus y squared over 2 plus e x cube. By Green's theorem, sa to equal? By Green's theorem, this is equal to the double integral of q x minus p y d a. Derivative ng p with respect to y. 
so this will be 3xy squared tama plus y mm -hmm. tapos si isa naman yung q eto yun yung sa q dy natin so 3x squared y squared okay q plus xy plus x squared kailangan natin ng qx derivative ng q with respect to x aha 3xy squared tama no pag binaba yun ko magkakancel lang to so yun raise to 1 sya plus y plus 2x okay so yung qx minus py natin dito na lang muna natin ilagay qx minus py so qx minus minus py so minus 3xy squared minus y so ito equal cancel to cancel din yung y ang matitira ay ta -da, 2x so we have 2x here yeah. usually we we just choose dy dx or dx dy for da but for this image mas madali at ang cylindrical coordinates naka r and theta tayo clear kasi rito eh ang r natin is from 1 to 4 and the theta runs from 0 to pi over 2 so let's just use that da will be r dr d theta right tapos yung x natin ay 2 what is x r cosine theta tapos yung theta natin runs from 0 to pi and the r runs from 1 to 4. Right? Tapos, meron tayo titong r times r. So, that is r squared. Pag uh, in-integrate with respect to r, we have r cubed over 3. Tapos, may times 3 ito. Evaluate kay r is equal to 1, r is equal to 4. Tapos, sa labas yung cosine theta d theta. Okay. Now, evaluate kay 4 cube. Parang ayoko. <laughs> Pwede ano na lang. 2 times 4 cube na lang muna. Yan. Minus, kapag kay r is equal to 1 naman, minus 2 over 3. Yan. Nakatamad kaya magana. Arithmetic. Ako na yan cosine theta d theta Ayan. Integrate cosine theta. That is sine theta. Aha. Cosine theta. Tapos in-evaluate natin from 0 to pi. What is sine 0? 0. What is sine pi? 0 then. So this whole thing is equal to yes. 0. Yay! And then again, parang kanina, meron tayong negative work. Dito naman, zero work. There's nothing to be worried about. Kasi meron tayong mga zero work. That means that uh, kapag ang work ay zero, that means there is zero work in moving an object along the path C. That means we don't have to go against the force field to move a particle. Yeah, something like that. So, ang work, pwede siya maging positive, negative, zero. And it's easy. Kasi yung PDX plus QDY, may double integral na lang siya. If we know, yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening.